I'd like to tell you about an interesting project called FreeCR. FreeCR is software that can record video. It can also stream the video live over the internet. FreeCR is licensed under an open source license, the GPL license version 3. This means it's free to download, free to modify, free to use, and free to build derivative works on top of. The unique thing about FreeCR is it can record video from just about anything, including firewire such as a camcorder device, USB like webcams, VGA capture devices, and even just local desktop without any extra hardware at all. It supports recording, streaming, and recording and streaming. It's fully featured on Linux. On Windows, it works. However, it's not fully featured quite yet. We're working on finishing that port off. We will soon do a Mac OS and VSD port right after that. If you're interested, actually, we could use a hand testing uh, for whatever platform you happen to be using. The interface looks like this. It's extremely easy to use. So it's got a button to start recording, a button to stop recording. The preview screen shows you what you're recording. As well, there's an audio feedback mechanism on the right-hand side of the screen that slides up and down and shows you the audio level at any point in time. This way you know what your recording is working. You might wonder why we built this. We've been working doing open source events and helping at open source events for quite some time. We started out by paying a videographer company to record. That was a bad model because it had us fundraising most of the time just to pay the videographer company. Eventually we started using whatever software we could find. At the time there were no open source software titles that could do this. And so we started using closed source proprietary software to do this. Uh, again, that was a very bad model because the options were extremely expensive and often locked you into particular hosting. As a result, we focused our energy and our, and our money and our effort on developing our own software. Since then, we've actually been able to record a very large number of conferences and a large number of talks and presentations and demos using this software. And the economics are much better, of course, because you can put it on any number of machines all around the world, and it does a good job of recording video on all of them. We've now moved on and added a number of additional features. We have translation so that uh, people can use FreeCR in the language of their choice. We also have live streaming, so you can stream video from FreeCR over the internet using uh, IceCast as a streaming server. And we're starting to work on additional things such as voice over IP support. What this will do is allow FreeCR to dial into a conference bridge or dial a phone number and use that telephone conversation as a microphone. And that way people can participate remotely. The workflow for FreeCR looks like this. It basically takes a few moments to set up. Typically it runs on a laptop. It takes a few moments to set up the laptop and the microphone and the camera or a VGA capture device and you're able to record. You click a button and then the presenter starts talking. Once they're finished talking you click a button to stop recording and at the end of the day when you're done recording all your talks you tear down and you've got a bunch of video files recording all the talks for that day. Those can be transcoded to reduce the resolution and make them available for web video. Often we record in much higher resolution than we need to for web video. And you could push them into any number of hosting providers such as YouTube, LibTV, Vimeo, etc. Or even with an Apache web server you can actually stream it with Apache just fine. The simplest way to use FreeCR is this. Basically you've got a laptop or a desktop and a headset microphone or handheld microphone and away you go. Uh, this is actually how I'm recording it right now. A fancier way is to use a wireless microphone. It lets the speaker wander around and maybe adding a camera like a USB or firewire camera. A very popular way that we use FreeCR is this. We use a VGA capture device to capture whatever VGA signal is coming from a presenter's laptop and of course their laptop can be anything. Windows, Mac OS, Linux, pretty much anything that sends a, a VGA signal. We use a, a Y cable or splitter cable to have half the signal go to the VGA capture device and half the signal go to a projector which the audience sees. We have to thank uh, a number of great open source software projects. First and foremost would be the GStreamer project that does all our heavy lifting for video and audio codecs. This enables us to, using Python to build the FreeCR engine, which allows you to record video and stream video and so forth. And of course, we also use the Qt framework for our GUI widgets and other constructs. 
So uh, we're basically standing on the shoulders of giants to build uh, a fairly useful little application. A couple of interesting things about FreeCR. We also understand the notion of talk metadata. So the speaker, the talk title, the description of the talk, uh, the room in which it's been recorded, the date it was recorded, and the event that it was part of, and so forth. We take this metadata and we actually encode it into the video, and so you can retrieve it later when you're uploading a video, a video into a video hosting provider. You can add it directly into the interface with our talk editor. You can also load it from an RSS feed or a comma-separated value file or even a flat file. Once you do load talks into the application, you can now filter them with the GUI. So you can filter based on an event. You can also filter based on a room. And within a room and event, the talks are sorted by time, if that's been defined. That way, from the point of view of somebody recording at a conference, all they have to do is just pick the next talk, click record, click stop, and they're done. And that way, all the talk metadata is automatically encoded into the video. This is an open source software project, and so we survive on the hearts and minds of people who are interested in using and developing the software. It's pretty easy to get involved with the, uh, FreeCR because it's a very small code base. It's about 10,000 lines of code, even though it has the same features as other software. So for instance, um, there's other software that is about 600,000 lines of code and does pretty much the same thing in terms of recording, video, streaming, etc. Uh, the best way to get involved is to use it, to uh, hack the code, tell people about it, uh, and record events. So record your local open source events, record uh, college and university lectures, and so forth. You can get a hold of us in many ways. We have a toll-free number. We also have an IRC channel on Freenode. We've got a, a web page on uh, GitHub, as well as our code repository. And of course, the code is available to the public for everybody to download and look at. We've got a bug tracker hosted there, and more. You can also find us on Twitter, of course. Some of our key projects, for those who might be interested in Google Summer of Code or other intern opportunities or even just want to get started and learn how to hack video code and uh, do some interesting things with software, uh, we're working on Windows support as well as uh, BSD and Mac OS support. We've got an uploading tool that we're working on that will basically make it really easy to take those video files and push it into a video hosting provider. Or, in fact, one of the interesting things we're doing is making it automatic that we can pull a directory of, of video files and push them into Drupal, automatically creating Drupal nodes with all the video metadata. We have a command line interface that we're adding, as well as I mentioned, uh, voice over IP support. So allowing for the FreeCR recording client to dial into a phone number or a conference bridge and use that as a microphone and record that uh, uh, audio as well so people can participate remotely. Thanks very much. Take care.